In this Microsoft Word 2010 clip, let's learn how to set margins in our document and how to adjust the alignment of our paragraphs. Margins are the white areas surrounding our printed text. And as we'll see, they're also referred to as text boundaries. At times, it can be very useful to see the outline of our margins on the screen. To view our margins, let's click the File tab on the ribbon, which gives us our backstage view. From here, we'll come down the File menu on the left and click Options. In the Word Options dialog, click the Advanced button on the left. Scroll down in the right pane to the Show Document Content area and click the checkbox next to Show Text Boundaries. When we click OK, we leave the backstage view and we're now able to see our margins. Remember, these boundary lines won't print. They'll just help us on screen. Now, let's learn a quick way to change our margins. We'll click the Page Layout tab. Then, in the Page Setup group, click the Margins button to see a series of preset margins. If we don't see one that meets our requirements, we can always come down below the presets and click Custom Margins. From here, we can set our top, bottom, left, and right margins, as well as the gutter position if it's needed. And we see here that our changes will be applied to the entire document as we click OK. Next, we'll learn to adjust the appearance of our document by making changes to the alignment of our paragraphs. Paragraph alignment is nothing more than choosing which of our margins the text lines up with. We could select multiple paragraphs or even an entire document, but here we'll click the insertion point to work with just our first paragraph. Now we'll click the Home tab, and in the Paragraph group, we can apply Left Alignment, Center Alignment, Right Alignment, or Full Justification. We may also want to adjust the blank space above or below the paragraph. To do that, we'll click the Paragraph Dialog Launcher here in the lower right corner of the group. In the Paragraph Dialog's Indents and Spacing tab, we get a handy preview window to help us visualize any custom selections we make. Let's click OK to see our changes in the document. We can also set our indents and spacing from the ribbon itself. For that, just click the Page Layout tab and then set them from the Paragraph group. There we go. We've learned in this clip how to see and set our margins and align our paragraphs for a clean, easy-to-read document.